Chapter 2 I waited until the rope grew taut and I heard the engine groan as Dad backed against it. Then I could see by the way the rope stretched and dripped into the water that the anchor was holding. I looked at Dad and gave him the OK signal with my fingers. He shut off the engine and I threw out the safety line, a smaller rope that floated alongside and that we used to get ourselves to and from the anchor rope once we were in the water. When I returned to the stern, I found the Jordans arguing. This time, Shane was complaining that Mr. Jordan had left his dive gloves at the house. It seemed there was no end to the things they could find to fuss over. Just then, Dad stepped out of the wheelhouse and stood watching them. As soon as you guys work out your problems, I can get you in the water. Shane frowned, shook his head with disgust, and gave his dive bag a kick. Jack butt, he mumbled to his father. Mr. Jordan ignored his son. He zipped up his wetsuit and grabbed his buoyancy compensator device, or BCD. This is an inflatable vest used to counter a diver's weight belt and control how fast we ascend and descend. After the breathing ap apparatus, called the regulator, it's the most important piece of equipment a diver wears. The anchor should be close to the north tank, Dad continued, but there's fish all over both of them and you shouldn't have any problems finding your way around. I studied Dad, still wondering if he was going or not. Mr. Jordan carried his gear to the air tank strapped to the gunnels. He pulled one of the tanks and began clipping it to his BCD. Shane was in his wetsuit already. He grabbed his own BCD and carried it over toward the tanks. Go ahead and suit up, Julie, Dad said. Mr. J Jordan looked at him. She's going to take you down today, Dad said. You've got to be kidding me, Shane said. Gib, I'm not paying all this money for some kid to guide me, Mr. Jordan said. You don't need a guide. She's only going to watch for your own safety. She's made more dives than the two of you combined, so you're in good hands. What's your problem, Mr. Jordan asked. I'm not feeling well. You might have told us that before now. Well, Hank, you want me to pull the anchor and start back in? Mr. Jordan studied him, and I saw a look of intense dislike pass between them. We came this far, he finally said. We're going down there. That's what I figured, Dad said, turning back to the wheelhouse. Finish getting into your gear and roll off. Dad went back inside and I got my wetsuit and booties out of a plastic storage bin. I was already wearing shorts and a tank top pulled over a white skin suit, a thin layer that protects against jellyfish and makes it easier to pull on the neoprene. I removed my shorts and tank top and pulled the wetsuit on. Then I clipped my weight belt around my waist and strapped my dive knife to my ankle. As I fastened my BCD to one of the remaining tanks, I kept an eye on the Jordans. All of the gear they pulled from their bags was new and top of the line. Among these items were pony tanks, small air tanks about the size of fire extinguishers. They each strapped one to their BCDs next to their main tank. This was as much as saying they planned on staying down longer than they should, and Dad wasn't going to like that. Shane strapped his knife to his ankle and grabbed his spear gun. We better shoot something, he said to his dad like I wasn't there. I doubt he's ever made this much money off one trip in his life, Mr. Jordan muttered. You'd think he'd show a little more effort to accommodate us. He'd go down if he could, I said. They ignored me. Well, Shane said, at least she can help us carry the fish up. I don't know why else we even need her. My name is Julie, I snapped. And if you want me to stay behind, I'm sure Dad won't have a problem with that. Dad stepped back onto the back deck again. I saw him eye the jo Jordan's pony tanks. He frowned and knelt beside my BCD, checked that my air valve was on, and clicked the purge on my regulator a few times to make sure air was flowing through it. Once he was satisfied, he hefted the gear onto the railing. Together, the tank, BCD, and regulator weighed nearly 40 pounds. My weight belt was already 10 pounds. All of this combined is too much for me to wear out of the water, so Dad usually lowers it over the side for me. Dad motioned with his chin for me to get in. I put my mask around my neck, spit in it, and rub the spit around with my finger. It's a trick to keep the glass from fogging and works almost as well as the more expensive defog drops the Jordans were using. Then I slipped the mask over my face, pulled down my dive fins, and rolled overboard. The current swept me alongside the hull until I was able to grab the safety line. A moment later, the Jordans splashed in next to me and bobbed to the surface with their spear guns held over their heads. Check them out, Dad said from above as they grabbed onto the safety line. I swam around behind each of them, checking that the valves were all the way open on their tanks. Everybody check your air meter and give me a thumbs up if it shows full, Dad said. 
Each of them had a console about the size of a telephone handset connected to their tank with another hose. The console contains an air gauge, a compass, and a depth meter. Dad and I still preferred the older analog gauges, while the Jordans were using the newer digital models. They inspected their air readings and signaled okay. Take two deep, excuse me, take two breaths out of your regulators and give me another thumbs up, Dad said. Their regulators checked out. I want to remind you that this dive is 105 feet. I re recommend you stay on the bottom no longer than 20 minutes. Julie, when you start up, stop at 20 feet. Make sure you have enough air to hang there for 15 minutes. We've got ponies, Mr. Jordan said. I see that, and you can do what you want. You signed waivers, but I'm telling you what I recommend. We know what we're doing, Mr. Jordan said. The current up top is pretty strong today, Dad continued. Hopefully it won't be bad on the floor. When you get back to the boat, hold on to the safety line and I'll help all of you get your equipment in. Dad lowered my BCD, tank, and hoses to me. He held the top of the tank while I worked my arms into the BCD and buckled the waist strap. I took a couple of test breaths from my regulator, checked my gauges, and gave Dad a thumbs up signal. Then he leaned close and said, 20 minutes, bottom line, Julie, no matter what's going on. Understand? I nodded. He gave me a long look that told me he didn't like the situation any more than I did. Our clients were an accident waiting to happen, but I was about to find an even bigger problem waiting in the depths below.